Hey guys, Jeff here again. For this vlog, we're gonna be working on my mini. I got to do a head gasket repair. I'm getting some coolant issues, some overheating, and I just want to make sure that that's taken care of. I've got a bunch of other stuff done to the car, so I kind of want to cover all my bases and make sure that's taken care of. So this is what it's gonna be. We're just gonna get everything done. I think tomorrow we're heading out to the San Jose Auto Show with a couple of the guys from Envious. So I'll go ahead and throw a video for that together. I'll also probably do a separate video on just the auto show alone. Kind of throw some cinematic uh, angles and stuff together. So we'll see how that goes. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, this is where I'm at. I was able to drain all the oil out. And it looks like a normal color. So I don't have a feel. I have a feeling that the coolant's not mixing with the oil. So the next job I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all of the intercooler, the tubing, the piping, all of the, uh, the intake, try to break down the valve cover, get everything off like that, pull about as much off as I can. I do have to drain the coolant still, we gotta let the oil finish draining. I'm gonna pull the oil filter and try to get everything ready to go. So uh, follow me along with that journey. I can do this over here. Alright guys, so I've got the valve cover off and even though the oil came out of the bottom okay in the drain from you know, out of the drain plug, I popped the valve cover over and there's a little bit of a milkshake. I can't tell if it's a mix of the coolant or and the oil or if it's condensation. So I'm still looking into that. However, I do plan on getting the head off by the end of the night just to see where that's going, just to get everything also, to, you know, to get everything replaced. So I'm going to finish doing that, but I've got the valve cover off and ready to get some more done. So this is 
the engine bay as it sits now. I've got the intake off. So that covers all of that. I've got the valve cover off, the intercooler, and the intercooler releases all of this type of stuff. So I've still got to get the fuel rails out. I still got to pull the oil filter off. So to get the rest of the oil off, I've got to drain the coolant because on the side of the head here, there is hard to see, but there's the thermostat housing. So I get the thermostat out. I just replaced that maybe two months ago, so that should all be good still. So I gotta get that done, gotta get the fuel line out, gotta get the fuel rail out, and then I have to deal with the timing chain and the cam sensor and all of that stuff on this side of the motor. So I'm gonna start getting that done. Alright guys, I'm getting ready to wrap it up for the night. I've done everything from removing the exhaust manifold, the intake manifold. The only thing I really got left to do is remove the cam bolt and the timing chain guides. And then I should be able to pop the head and then the head bolts and I should be good to go. I realized when I was in the motor when I was in the motor that I need a new timing chain guide on one of the sides. So I'm gonna be picking that up tomorrow. And that's really all that's going to hold up the project. And then I think I still need to drain the coolant. Replace one of the coolant lines that I realized has some seepage around it. So I got to get that done. And I should be able to pick that up really quick if I don't already have a spare line here. And then I'm trying to go through what else I got to do. It's really, that's it. And that's all that'll take to get the head off. I guess I got to look at the head gasket. And I've got the whole gasket kit. And then tomorrow should be hopefully putting everything together. If I can get everything I need. So... I uh, will check in with you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. I didn't get anything done to the car this morning. I had to order some new head bolts because they're torqued to yields, and it was the only thing that didn't come with the kit. So I ordered those. Those come in Tuesday, so I'm not going to have anything done to the car until then. I figured out how to get the cam uh, bolt out in order to get the cam shot, in order to get the cam sprocket off, and get the timing chain off. So I got to deal with that, and so replacing the timing chain guide that uh, looks like it lost a little bit of a piece. So I'm getting ready to head out with a couple of the guys to meet up for food. And then after food, we're going to go to the Silicon Valley Auto Show and go check out some of the cars. So I'm going to bring you along for that and hope you enjoy it. Silicon Valley Auto Show. It's put on by an old client of mine, Spider, who has the blue Corvette. So it was really cool connect, reconnecting with him and, you know, working on this video. Then I'm also going to be sending him a copy of, I'm going to be editing it a little bit differently for him. So go ahead and take a look out for that. I'll include it, the link in the description below once I get that from him. I'm also going to be doing, besides the vlog portion, I'm also going to be doing a video for me this can be an edited version as well. I just got back from hanging out with the MBS guys. A couple of us met up afterwards to meet up for a boba and just kind of hanging out and going over some club things. So it's a few hours later and it was a good time with everybody. So I hope you enjoyed and like, comment, and subscribe.